It, since she talked about pepe, Nigeria Ghana, who, who eats pepe more? Nigeria. Really? Because I once tried your pepe soup, I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? It was full of pepe. <laughs> when is it pepe soup? It's not all about pepe, but Nigeria is all about pepe. <laughs> Really? I know uh, other tribes or other neighboring countries, they like pepper, but we are pepper is different. <laughs> Why is your pepper? How is your pepper different? Because, Tell me. Because of the abobi. <laughs> when we add it and then you have the work plan, you enjoy it most. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm in uh, Mepe in the Volta region of Ghana and I met this have some man here and it's gonna tell us maybe a little bit of the history so sir you can just introduce yourself and tell us why you're here all right my <laughs> name is max Obobobi. okay i'm from this town oh, yeah and battle respectively battle yes this is Volta region mepe and the north town district north town district okay sir we are proud mepe people and we have a festival called apenoto okay and anytime we come home we enjoy a lot yeah and it starts from the first week of august to the end of august okay it's a month-long festival okay which is very very nice and you enjoy it cultural activities um entertainment swimming football volleyball and other activities okay. goes on okay and then uh, when you come to Mepe, we have oyster oyster, okay. oyster yes, which I saw is, it yeah and we use it for buildings as well really yes after okay. eating it we don't throw True. the shells True. away yeah. we package it and then use it as concrete for buildings yeah and in Mepe, we have water the river volta which we fish we get a lot of fish yeah. tilapia uh, we call some blue lovi we have a lot of fishes in it okay more than nigeria anyway <laughs> but <laughs> yes so why did you go there <laughs> <laughs> because uh nigeria is noted for stock fish and yeah. other ones but in the river volta we have varieties of fish which is fresh Mm. Not even from the Chinese made or whatever. Mm -mm. Yes. Fresh. We actually went there to the Lake Volta, right? That's yeah. Lake Volta. So it's just behind, behind us. Yes, yes. We, we, that was where we were actually coming from. Okay. Yeah. So, what does it feel like to be from this settlement? In Mefe, if you come once, you always come. Okay. Because the people are friendly. True. They receive people. They give you nice food like at play and fetri dechi, uh, abobi, and then, um, do you know meko? No, not yet. Able. You don't know this. That is pepper hot one. Yeah, you enjoy all this. Okay. And even in Masito, when you come Masito Royal, we have varieties of that abobitadi, which is small, small fish with pepper, hot pepper. Hmm. I know uh, other tribes or other neighboring countries, they like pepper, but we, our pepper is different. <laughs> Why is your pepper, is your pepper different? Because, Tell me. Because of the abobi. <laughs> when we add it and then you have the work plan, you enjoy it most. So, okay. And I'm, okay. Sorry. Uh, so and I'm willing for you to enjoy one before you leave. Oh. From Royal <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, now, since she talked about pepper, Nigeria Ghana, who, who eats pepper more? Nigeria. Really? Because I once tried your pepper soup, I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? It was full of pepper. <laughs> when is it pepper soup? It's not all about pepper, but Nigeria is all about pepper. <laughs> really? I, 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 I actually think you guys eat pepper more. No. Really? We, we regularly, but mm. not... The, the level of you are at maybe 90% and mm. we eat 60% of pepper in terms of volume. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you guys eat more because the way you're also talking about pepper, pepper, I was like, okay. So he, he said he has been to Nigeria yes. a lot of times, right? And he has a cousin. That has to be your cousin, right? My brother. Okay, your brother who is married to a Nigerian. I have a brother in Nigeria okay. separately and then okay. a cousin who married, married a Nigerian, Nigerian woman. Okay. okay, so what was your experience like when you visited Nigeria? yeah um the good aspect about nigeria is mm. um they have nice places everything in nigeria is big <laughs> everything in nigeria is big like and the places are, that i have been to mm. i've been to balugu market okay, yeah. i've been to Oshiodi. yeah and the, the life there <laughs> you, you have to be serious before you can leave well, honestly yes That's everything true. is everybody is serious mm. so you have to be serious mm. but when you come to places like um, leki vi Ama. 
uh, how do you call this place? Um, Aja, Aja yes, Estate okay, and yes. all those things. You have a good life there. Yeah. When I went to Lekki for the first time, phase two, mm. I thought I was in London. Oh. Very clean environment. Everything is glassed and it's nice. True. So, Nigeria compared to Ghana, you are far ahead of us. Really? In everything. Everything in Nigeria is big. I'm telling you. Mm. But on the onset, Nigeria learned from Ghanaians and they make it big. Okay. That is what I've realized. But I think people are calmer. People are very, very calm. calm. Yeah, I love the like the calmness here because just like you said, now you need to be serious. Yes. That's talking about Lagos, right? Yes, Lagos. Because if you're not serious, inside Lagos, I yeah, mean, yeah, <laughs> but here now, a, a lot of Lagosians prefer Ghana mm -hmm. because of the hustle and bustle in Lagos. It's because Nigeria, you can sleep early. But in Ghana, you can choose to you can choose not to sleep the whole night. Nobody does anything to you. But in Nigeria, you have to sleep at your own time. <laughs> if you don't want to sleep, you have your trouble. <laughs> that is a difference because in Ghana there is so much peace. You mm. can relax anywhere you want. Mm. But Nigeria, you don't have your own life. Mm. Somebody wants your life whilst mm. you are working. Mm. I know you know that. Yeah. Yes. So that's the difference. But Nigeria is a it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. So you've taken away us away from from Mepe because of the pepper you talked about. <laughs> oh so my let's God. come back to Mepe. Yeah, so let's go back to Mepe now. So yes. tell me what, what you love about your country, Ghana. Yes, I love Ghana because there's so much peace. Even during our elections, no matter how we what, how we do what we do, we end up making or making one person a king of this country and we we do that in peace mm. but in, in other countries we see violence like fighting killing people give us an example somalia uganda <laughs> i thought you were going to start with nigeria <laughs> nigeria no we do nigeria even though they vote there is no winner but one person wins <laughs> but there's there is no killing says they do there's, there's it, a lot it's of... not about the election there are some part of Nigeria, even though there is no election, they always kill, they always, mm, uh, no, that's you know, true. when you go to the church, the mosque, they mm. throw bomb at mm. the time, mm. suicide bombings, mm. and some part of Nigeria, but mm. during elections, it is money, it's all about how much you spend, and true. we know the winner already before we <laughs> vote, <laughs> but, but in, is it like that here? You know, Ghana, even though... Uh, it's the same, but Ghana is transparent. Okay. Yes, the winner is the winner. Mm -hmm. And since I have observed elections in Ghana, uh, NDC and MPP, we go for two, mm -hmm. and then this party go for two, mm -hmm. two times all the time. And this is the time they are saying they are breaking the eight. MPP is breaking the eight. So let's see what happens at uh, 2024. But do you have fears that? Because sometimes I wonder, like, what happens if Ghana becomes 100 million people? Like, are they still going to be able to be this maybe coordinated? Sometimes I... We I can never know. get there because uh, Ghanaian ladies have adapted a strategy of controlling birth. Okay. And uh, before my mother, my mother gave birth to her, we are six. Okay. And now you will not see a young girl giving birth to six. Maximum is three or mm. four. Mm. So, and then there are new technologies about birth controlling. Mm. We take pills after sex and all those things. It's making Ghanaians not to give birth. Mm. But compared to Nigeria, you see a family, um, eight mm. at least, four boys, four girls. Mm. But in Ghana, two, two, two. When will you get to no, Nigeria? No, no, it's population? almost the same thing. No. But yeah, like we have two kids and I'm done. Why? <laughs> It's Why? not the best, at it's least. Not, you so should, you want me to have... We have to multiply the population all the no, time. No, but even at that... Because the, 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 the birth, oh, even though the birth rate at youth, the death rate, mm. we need to increase the population. That's Th what I'm saying. For so... Ghana, we are not. I'm seeing our population growing very low. Really? Yes. I don't... I feel it will grow higher because maybe there is developmental growth. Population definitely grows. Because I know I know some ladies they choose not to even give birth. They but but okay. they might still end up adopting now. And that is for somebody, maybe one. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we are not growing. I have 
I have six boys, one girl. Really? Yes. Uh, so that's it now. So they could be. So I'm behaving like a Nigerian because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but truth, truth be told, right now you hardly see somebody with four or five children. It's two, three, two, three. What is the problem? No, there's no problem. I just think the high, you know, the cost of things are really high now. Like you want to give your child good education we right now. We made it, it like costs... that because it's not where you are; it's who you are. Definitely. When you go to government school and you, you really want to study, you study. Not True. really going to. But you know, it's just it's just a thing of I don't want what I went. I don't want the same thing I went through. My kids going through the same. That is where we have you problem. Know? We have culture. Mm. We have fundamentals of education, mm. and it is from you know. To me, mm. I prefer my kids to go to government school. You know why? Because more gov government school teachers are trained teachers, and yeah. other schools are they pick them from. The SHS and train them into serve into service. Mm. So they, they they like if I buy a team, they pick whatever they they read and then teach the kids. Mm. So the kids work on themselves because they are smart kids now. We have smartphones, so we have smart kids. Mm. That's where they learn, but it's not from the teachers. Mm. So if I go to Presby or a Cali school and I'm smart, I can still make it out. So you still want more. Yes. Right now you have seven or eight. Yes, I'm looking for a new wife to give more. Because I'm a divorcee, I don't have a, oh. a wife as, as I speak. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's personal life now. We shouldn't yeah, go sure. too much into that. Oh no, it's not a problem, but let's go, go back go to, to my to, fair. To my fair yes. Yes. Like, what are the attractions in this environment? Okay, first um i talk about the festival yeah my pet is noted for a penalty festival okay which people follow and then after that they choose to come on their own days okay during the festival it is in every week first week in august yeah. and first week in august the first saturday in august we have the deba deba yeah and the grand deba um the, the chiefs are carrying the palanquins they come to the park and display yeah. uh, whatever their grievances is when the politicians are in we tell them yeah. and then they also come back and do whatever they can do yeah. and then the following day it's sunday we go to church service and do a door for funds for fundraisings okay then the monday we go for regattas regatta we go to the riverside then we do canoe competition, okay. paddling from the overbank to this side. Okay. Whichever clan, we have five clans in town. Okay. We have uh, Ajigo. I think the name that we tell the restaurant is Ajigo, okay. Banvier, okay. uh, Jabaku, okay. Johonu, Sevier. Sevier is noted for yellow. Okay. Uh, Johonu is white. Okay. Banvier is red. Uh, Jagbapu, it's uh, it's white, and then the other one is green. Wow! Yeah, I've tried to know all these things. Yes. So <laughs> uh, when we do that, the Tuesday we call it um, beach. Okay. Even though we have a river, we go to the beach. We we have fun. We swim. Mm -hmm. We spin. Maybe an artist like Adam. If we have a chance to take that video here, we would have done that. We have Shatawale, yeah. Stoneboy has been here, even in Masito. Wow. Yeah. And then Wednesday is a free day to relax. Then Thursday is a bigger beach, mm -hmm. which uh, we go to the riverside again. Mm -hmm. If there is any other artist, they come to Masito, we put a stage right here. Yeah. Then we will do performances. Mm -hmm. Some are free, some we have sponsors from okay. Guinness, Ghana. Uh, or a crabby waste limited okay. maybe promacido and the rest and then uh, friday we rest mm. saturday we do uh, funerals maybe some people are dead and we are waiting to do funerals and then the sunday it continued till mm. one month yeah that is our festival so by so doing people who come got attracted loving people we are free, we eat together and all. So they keep coming to Mepe. Yeah. That's Mepe for you. Okay. Do you have any other thing you want to say? Very attractive. We have a sand here <laughs> in the river, okay. which they win. They bring it out mm. and then cast from Tema. Mm. So they come to pick it up and send it to uh, even they export some. Mm. Yeah, sand. Mm. They use it for building. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, and funny enough, I was about saying this that this sand is not the type in Accra. No, 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 no. This one is the normal. This one is the normal. But there is one in the river. It's a bit thicker than this. what we are seeing here. Okay. So when you are moving, you see a big articulator tracks or tipper tracks mm. moving. Mm. They come to carry it to, to Tema. Yeah. To Tema. Yeah. Okay. They spot some. They use some in Accra. Okay. It's good. We can even bring some to Nigeria if you like. <laughs> we also have another sand. We have two. Mm. There's a place we call Keta. Keta that one is Keta. very smooth. You know the Keta? Yeah, I've been there. No, the, no, the Keta at Anglong. We, our place, there is because a, a care means sand. Okay. So the Keta we call it is there. Oh, okay. When you go there, it's very white and smoother mm. than what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's also a, an attraction where okay. people come to see and then take some for plastering their buildings and it's, it looks so neat, just like. House. Okay, and another attraction is the yeah, river yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. You didn't talk about it. The, the, the river, I, I, I will not say much. When you are on it, you cruise, you can cruise from here to Akuse. You know Akuse? No, I don't. Close to Akosombo. Oh, there okay, is a okay, dam okay. there, so you can Yes, 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 I know the dam. There is a pom, we call it pom, the pom dam. Okay. When you get to Akuse, there is a dam. So this this uh, river now gets to. Akusomo. This is what they use for the uh, the, 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 the power. Yeah. Wow, this mm. same water. Yeah. The oh. same water, yeah. And then. But this one is not artificial, right? No, it's natural. Natural. This one should be artificial because uh, I understand that it was just a stream and then Nkrumah. Okay. Uh, our first uh, president who had independence for us mm. to open it from Burkina. Okay. So even during those times there, there were floods people have to move backwards because their homes were close to the river mm. and when it happens it takes all over the town mm. and people have to move to the villages mm. until the Akuse Dam was constructed before it came down okay. and during those times the oysters are just there you can pick them as much as you want so those are the money our parents got mm. to have buildings and all those things even yeah. my mother build a nice house from oyster wow yeah where is it is that uh, the same town but we have to walk a distance okay yeah okay so it's nice having a conversation with you i love the fact that you know a lot about yes. your place this is where i like my my, my hometown and i have to know do you come here very frequently yes almost every weekend or two really yes Unless maybe there is nothing happening here, I have to come. So it's actually based in Accra, but he knows a lot about this place. Yes, that's because good it's not even far from Accra. Yeah, that's If you true. hadn't been the road from Sege down here, mm. sometimes we drive 15 minutes from 50. Accra. 15? Wow. Yeah. If there is no traffic, 15 mm. minutes, and you're here. So you won't get a place close to Accra to have a countryside to chill. Yeah. Very close. Mm. Yes. So guys, you heard a lot about the Mepe people of the Volta region of Ghana. Yes, I was so excited to come to this place, seeing the Lake Volta. I was even surprised to find out that this same lake actually gets to Akusombo and it's from this same water that power is generated in Ghana. Honestly, I'm super excited and I'm sure you also are learning about the culture, the people of this community. So please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be dropping more videos about my trip to this community. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you're notified when I post more videos. So till I come your way again, thank you so much, guys. Bye.